Hello and welcome here on my channel. Today I would like to share how I organize my packing station or my shipping station because in my opinion it was very important to have everything in one place so that I don't need to move around and it was also very important to have one designated space for packing and the other one for manufacturing which is over here. I will show you this in a later video but today I would just like to share this type of station that I got because it was a very good investment and it made my life so much easier really so much easier and it makes sense you know so that you can really focus and be very very productive here is my packing table it's actually a workbench that I got off of Amazon it was very very inexpensive I think it was about 60 euros this workbench has a drawer which is very handy because when you make a gift box and you add a tissue paper, it elevates the gift box quite remarkably, in my opinion. So I keep just different colors here or different patterns, depending on the situation. Then underneath, I have these boxes here containing this shredded paper. Uh, black and red one and then underneath here I have some bubble wrap and other kind of paper that I like to keep whenever I get my own orders coming in I reuse the packaging material just because I think it's eco-friendly. In this next bucket over here I keep the packing peanuts and what I like to do is to keep it in a jug so that it's easy for me to take out and then fill the respective parcels or packages with it. Then I have another box um, where I keep the sturdy kind of gift boxes of all kinds that I have. I have wooden ones. It's also very cool, like if you want to make a gift, maybe for a gentleman, with some cool soaps or cosmetic in it. I think it's a great and unique idea. And then I just have different types of Christmas or such glittering ones. It's always good to keep gift boxes at hand because in my opinion you always get requests for gift boxes. So it's always good to have such gift boxes at hand. And this is the packing area as such. This was um, plywood and then, I don't know if you can see, it was normal plywood and then I applied some wooden looking kind of thing. sticky roll, I don't know how to call it. So it had this nice kind of look that I love. And then these, these self-healing mats are great because if, if you're using such exactos, then even if it cuts through the mat, it will heal by itself. So that's very, very good. And here, this is an IKEA pegboard. I think it's super handy because it's a pegboard and then you get different kinds of, um, I don't know what to say, tools that you can attach to it and, you, and they are completely customizable. For example, such hooks where you can put a scissors on or then you have these kind of hooks, such hooks where you can attach a bigger roll to it. I have these um, gift rolls and they come with this attachment here. And it depends on how you want to organize it and you can get different kinds of trays, just like this one here. Then I keep, for example, my calculator, different rolls, electrical or double-sided tape. And then here, these are little boxes like this that you can also hook to the pegboard and like this you can always remake it according to your preferences. So basically once you have the pegboard you can go ahead at IKEA and just buy these, these things that you need to apply onto your pegboard and they have many more than this one that you can see here. You also have little boxes that you can just take out like this. It really depends on what you want to do. So on my packing table, I like to keep my heat gun. I need it a lot for shrink wrapping. 
and then I keep it in this ceramic bowl because this part here gets very hot so I can just pop it in here and be safe. Then I have my heavy duty packing um, tape with the dispenser that comes in very handy if you have to make packages. Then this Swiss post office ruler or measuring tool so you can easily determine how thick one package is here if it fits into this or into this gap here then different kind of price points are applicable so to speak but this is just something for switzerland and it's actually something that just the post office have and i got it as a gift very kind of course scissors then of course my scale my tape dispenser I also like to keep a little waste basket here so that I don't have to run over to the other corner where the big one is. And then of course different types of rulers and staplers and pens, some decorative pens as well. Thank you labels that I got off Amazon. And here that's a tape which says für dich, for you. So if you want to make some, some boxes to ship this is, for example, the surprise box. And then I just added this tape here. It makes it a little bit more special. Up here, I keep my gift rolls whenever you want to make presents. Here's also some packing uh, roll. You can see here and then here I keep little bags, different types of Ziploc bags, some tissue paper, small one and my soap wrapping tool. If you want to see a video about it, I will leave it also in the description. So up here, I keep different types of mailers, like bubble mailers for very small packages. Let's say somebody orders just one soap or one beard wax, whatever. And then here are some other gift boxes for bakery boxes like this is super cute for cupcakes if you want to make a box with six little soap cupcakes in it it's a very good idea too yeah. i still had some of the advent calendars maybe you remember where i made some little soaps for every day in december to the 24th for christmas eve down here are other sizes for mailers and also boxes, folded boxes, small ones and then bigger ones. So moving on to this side here, here is where I keep things like the plastic folders and here are smaller types of gift boxes. You can see this is like a little Happy Meal that you can then put together very simply by folding just like so and then yeah you get the idea. All right, so over here I keep all types of cellophane packages. These little bags here are very convenient. They're self-sealing. And then some other cellophane sheets, like these ones here to wrap in chocolate bars. Like, for example, for these type of chocolate bars, it's food grade. So really good for such cosmetic products other types of shrink bags that I still have in stock. I also keep the lip balm shrink wraps here. Very convenient if you make lip balms. Also these ones here, they come off Amazon and I absolutely love it because you can pop in very easily something and then it's self-sealing. And you know, they come in such different variations. I also will leave links for it, like for little samples or little gifts, yes. whatever you plan to do. Underneath I keep my thank you labels and my shipping labels, where I just add the address by hand. And then here I just have some designer paper, some colored paper. Then here little, I keep these design sheets. I like to make my own gift boxes or gift bags and I keep a lot of those just at hand. 
different types. This is more the glossy type. <clears throat> you have different looks also for different occasions, like for example Christmas or Valentine's and whatnot. You know, this one here is a Christmas type. It's also good because if you are running out of gift bags or you have something small, then you can just take your gift box, punch boards, I'm going to show this to you in just a second, and make your own gift boxes. Here are the labels in categories. Something here like bath truffles, then I can just open the drawer and I have everything ready instead of going through. Now, for what concerns the soaps, I made this um, folder here where I have all my soaps, usually that label for the front and then the one for the back. So I don't have to go around a bunch of papers and lose a lot of time. So here underneath I keep one box just for craft items, you know, anything for stamping, little tapes with happy birthday on it, or stamping material. This is a lamination machine. It's a little bit of economic version of the mink machine. And then here I have more gift box material that I don't need frequently, like ribbons that I don't use so often. These little cupcake holders and different types of ribbons and little boxes and so forth. And in this box I keep all my punch boards that I would like to show you. I have different types. This one here is a tag maker. It's amazing, you can do little tags, different sizes of tags by just punching it. I'm gonna show you an example also here. This one here is the candy box punch board. And the good thing about this brand, we are memory keepers, is all the directions come directly on the board. So in case you forget, you can just read and then you have this bone holder here that goes with it. Super, super user-friendly and intuitive. This is the envelope punch board that you can also use to make big gift boxes, like this one here. You know, and then once you have your gift box made, then you always have the possibility to apply something here, and then you have something really. This one here is the gift bag punch board, also really practical if you have something that you want to just pop into the bag. And then here, this is the gift box punch board, where you can also make large gift boxes with it. And this, very cute, is the candy box punch board. Super cool as well. And this one is another tag maker. So this is, in my opinion, very wise to invest in because then you can make very cost-effective gift boxes because if you wanted to buy such big ones here, like for example in Switzerland for such a, a box, you can easily pay 10 or more francs, you know. Whereas if you buy the designer paper, like we have seen before, you get such a paper and then you can make your own gift packaging, so to speak. So these are bags, such a paper bags that I use for small deliveries. And here I have my stamp. It's very cool. If you want to stamp something on your wedding box or for a gift card, etc. So you have here the ink and this is the stamp that you can easily assemble like so and then stamp along. It just gives the like vintage vibe in my opinion. And this is how it looks on a box. Here I also keep other types of little paper bags if you have single soaps or similar. Some samples and some other labels. That... And then here are some Easter baskets and then other types of gift boxes. I always like to keep these at hand. These here are super practical. They come from Amazon. I'm just going to show you quickly. So they come with their ribbons and then they come in a bag of 16, I believe. And then you can just easily assemble it. I will not assemble it right now because I never know how to fold it back flat, you know. But you get the idea. So you have different different types, different colors in it. 
take much space and they are very affordable and they just look really classy. I am going to post a picture here to show you. I also like to keep these toolboxes here, the see-through toolbox. Because, for example, here I do keep all my acrylic stamps that were made for some projects. And I just keep them because you never know, maybe a client comes back and wants to have another soap series made. And then here are just my papers that I need from time to time if I need to note something. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe it gave you some ideas or some inspiration how to organize your own packing table if you're not already organized, of course. And if you're interested in more soap making related videos, please check out the playlist here on the screen. Also, please feel free to subscribe. I wish you a wonderful day and see you in the next video. Bye bye.